Today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to use some of the new tools found in uh, Zara Designer Pro X and Zara Designer MX to recolor parts of your photo. So here I have uh, a photo of some flowers. And you notice uh, this yellow bush right here with all the little yellow flowers on it. And then up here I have uh, some flowers that are yellow here. And then there are some yellow tones in other parts of the picture. Right, but the only thing I want to do is recolor this part of the bush. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into that bush. Right, might want to even get a little closer. And the first thing I'm going to do after that is select my uh, color select and erase tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a spot here and zoom in a little bit more on that. And the first thing I want to do. And you can see I have this set to blue. I'm going to increase the color tolerance on this quite a bit to maybe as much as yeah, 8, maybe 10%, something like that. And that gets most of what I want. Now I'm going to go ahead and find what's left. Here's another color spot right here. Zoom in on that spot right there. And increase that one's color tolerance a little bit as well into about 10%, but still I have this uh, this yellow in here, right? I'm going to go ahead and select one more spot in here. And zoom it down a little bit, right, to there. Maybe a little bit higher. There we go. And increase its color tolerance. Maybe to about as much as 15%. All right, now it's got pretty much most of the yellow in there. You can play with a little bit to get it how you like it. But that is pretty much how much what I want, right? You can change it back to checkered, none, whatever you want to show you what you have, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out to the page. And you can see not only have I gotten this, but I've gotten these yellow flowers here and I you can't see it very well, but I've got some of this as well, I'm sure. So if I go back, so having this tool selected, I'm going to go ahead and make this a soft mask, okay? And this makes, like I say, a mask that, uh, um, actually, let me go back. But no, I'll, I'll stay here. So this makes a mask of everything except for these yellow colors that I've got selected before. And if I were to go ahead and go off to the, uh, um, to the, where is my photo tool? Oh, right here. Uh, and go off to the regular photo tool and go to this uh, uh, photo hue, I would change everything here, but also these flowers and some of that. Well, I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do first is use this uh, eraser tool. Okay, and I'm going to go through on my mask and erase the things that I have highlighted. You see how I'm, these things are being colored pink once I, I cover them? And I'm going to do that here for some of this other stuff that is also probably being picked up in the yellow. Yeah. Just to make sure that I've got it all. I'm covering all that up. There's some stuff in here that I'm sure I'm getting. You can play with this a little bit to your heart's content once you figure out exactly what it, all, all it is that you want to cover to make sure you're not getting anything else. But once you've done that, then you can go off to your photo tool and to your set photo hue and increase the strength on it. All right, and there you go. Now I'm coloring just the bush and none of this. And I can change the color to maybe something blue, yeah, or purple, pink something along those lines, or, or red, anything I want. But that's how you do it, um, You, how you can change just the pieces that you want. Even though you're picking some of the other colors, you can make sure that you uh, deselect them by using the Photo Erase tool. So that's it. I hope that was helpful, and uh, you'll come back and see us next time.